this week, I think we've seen a recalibration of U.S. policy towards Syria and Afghanistan. There were hints of that in the president's State of the Union speech, but uh, more came out in the uh, meeting of the anti-ISIS coalition that Secretary Pompeo hosted in Washington, D.C., of the 79 partners in that fight, and President Trump addressed that group as well. Uh, the position now, as expressed in some detail by the State Department vis-a-vis uh, -vis Syria, is that the uh, U.S.'s engagement in Syria overall and its goals in Syria have not changed, even though the 2,000 troops will be redeployed out of Syria, perhaps uh, to neighboring Iraq, but that the U.S. will remain engaged itself and engaged with its allies uh, in uh, fighting ISIS uh, if and when it pops up in Syria, uh, working for stabilization, staying to leverage uh, an exit of the Iranian forces and putting pressure on the Assad regime. Uh, uh, on Afghanistan, uh, the president has linked uh, a drawdown to concrete progress uh, in talks with the Taliban and in talks among the Afghans on some kind of political settlement or political resolution. So we're definitely uh, a slowing down uh, of the uh, sudden drawdown decisions. Uh, I think this comes as a great reassurance to the 79 partners in the fight against ISIS, many of the allies and partners in the region which were alarmed by that decision. Uh, I think it also reflects a strong reaction from the U.S. Congress, uh, which wanted uh, President Trump to dramatically slow down that sudden decision. Overall, uh, perhaps one can understand the decision that the U.S. Want, wants to get more disengaged from these wars in the region, but certainly doing it in a more gradual, a more studied way, in cooperation with partners and allies, uh, is certainly uh, the better way to go.